Hello everyone, my name is John McCann and I am the Tabletop Tutor. Today here helping me out is my daughter Luna and she is going to be my assistant in teaching you how to play Llamas Unleashed. So let's get this llama party started. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so Llamas Unleashed comes with the cards that you see here. There are all sorts of cards which we've shuffled up and uh, formed into a draw pile. We have the baby llamas. There's basically, you know, They're three so different babies. Cute. How would you describe the baby llamas? Cute. I mean, the baby. There's they baby rams, alpacas, are, llamas, oh, and baby goats. They're so adorable. <laughs> they really don't serve any purpose other than giving every player a starting card in their hand. Which card would you like to start with? I'd go with this. I'd All go right. with this one. And I'll take the uh, rainbow baby llama. All right. And the rest of these can just kind of slide off the board. They really won't be used for the rest of the game. We each have a baby sitting in our fields. Cards have a little uh, symbol in the in the corner of the card. If this color coded symbol tells you kind of what sort of card you have, the cards will have you'll have some basic animal cards with this purple symbol. You'll have some normal animal cards with this blue symbol. There's these, aren't, these ain't normal. These are magical. All right. <laughs> you have the green yeah, yeah. Like, uh, like, stars. Like, oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you have the green stars that are magic. You have downgrade cards, which are the yellow down arrows, and the orange up arrows are upgrade cards. So this is just kind of a sampling of what's in your hand. This is a card that you know tells you what you do on your turn, words you need to know, types of cards, and on the back it explains the herd bonuses that can happen. If you have three or more animal cards of the same variety, then you can get some special bonuses. And if that ever comes up, we'll mention that in this video. And this is a game, if you have any punny friends, but um bump then this is a game definitely for them. It's kind of like a revenge thing. Like if something happens to you, you can like pay them back with another thing. You know what we call that in the gaming world? No. <laughs> we call that a take that game. Ah. Because you, you do something and then someone else would be like, oh yeah, well take that. Okay, so who's going to go first this game? Uh, first person who spits. <laughs> that is true. In the rule book, it says that the most person who spit most recently is the first player, and Luna has just earned that title. Okay. All right. You want to play a card? All right. So this is. Did you draw a card before you played the card? You. The uh, turn order is: you draw a card, you play a card. Yes. All right, so you've drawn, now drawn your card. All right, so I'm going to draw a card, and now I am going to play a card. All right, so I'm going to play the Bahama Llama. The Bahama Llama. The Bahama Llama says... The Bahama Llama, Bahama Llama. When this card enters your field, you may discard a card. If you do, choose any player. That player must skip their next turn. Rude. It is pretty rude. All right, oh, so I'm going to discard that card, and I'm going to pick on you, Luna. You take that. You have to skip your next turn. No. All right, so I'll take my next turn. I will draw a card. Now, you can always have the option whenever you draw a card, instead of taking an action, you can draw another card. If you want to. If you want to. So I am going to play an instant card or a, um, a magic card, the llama bomb, destroy an animal card. If you so dare take that, destroy... I'm going to destroy your basic goat. Okay, good. Because if you destroy my baby, I will be mad. If, if you ever get to the end of your turn and you're holding more than seven cards in your hand, you have to discard down to seven cards. My turn. You played a llama bomb. What are you destroying? The Bahama Llama. Bye bye, Bahama Llama. So long. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna draw a card. I'm gonna play a downgrade card on my opponent's field. This says, Luna, you cannot play any card with llama in its name. Right. That is fair. That is alpaca rude. <laughs> yeah. Ba -ba -ba -ba. I shall play the magical oh, 
<laughs> oh, <cool. clears throat> when this card enters your a little bit, when this card enters your field, you may bring an alpaca card from your hand directly into your field. Oh no, <laughs> you don't have another one. Okay. I knew that. All right. <clears throat> So that's one that you probably want to hold on to until you have another alpaca card in your hand. You, oh, okay. You're going to take that one back? Okay. Yes. A basic goat. Got it. All right. My turn. I'm going to draw a card. I'm going to play a basic goat card. How do you win this game? Uh, seven cards. Oh. And this is an instant card. You, ah, yes. Notice the red in the corner. That means that that's an instant card. They're usually like, that's like the blocking cards of this game. So if someone plays a card that you don't like, you save the instant cards to block those cards. And I shall play the garbage buffet. Add the top card of the discard pile to your hand. If you have a good card in your field, you may play the top two cards instead. And you do have a good card, so you get the top two cards from the discard pile into your hand. All right, so I'm going to play no buts about it. This is destroy a goat or ram card, then draw a card. Destroy is a definition. It says send a card from another player's field to the discard pile. So the goat card goes into the discard pile, and it says uh, then draw a card. So then I draw a card. Who shuffled this deck? <laughs> Uh, stud life. <clears throat> stud life is an upgrade card. It says if you have two animal cards of the same variation in your field at the beginning of your turn, you may bring a baby animal card of that variation from the nursery directly into your field. If you do, skip your action phase. Which is sus. But well, but that last part I think we missed okay. whenever we played it before. Skip your action phase. So. Oh, you can't play that card because you have llama uh, 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 uh. This, this card is, is in your field at the beginning of your turn. Shuffle it into the deck. Then draw two cards. If either card is an animal card, you may be bring it directly into your field. And blah, 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 blah. That one always makes me laugh. All right. You know you're going to stop. I know. <laughs> I'm going to give you a downgrade card, the Tranquilizer. You cannot play instant cards. <laughs> We, we're gonna have to record this again. No, we won't. We missed so many rules. I don't care. No, That's I, the entire point. No, it's not. The point is to teach Where's people how to energy, play the game. Energy drink. You must have a ram in your field to play this card. If this card is in your field at the beginning of your turn, you might play two cards during your action phase. Oh, we need to take care of this card because you have the spontaneously oh. fading goat. So the oh. spontaneously fading goat says. If you I get another spontaneously fainting goat that would be absolutely hilarious yeah remember last time when you did th do that uh-huh that was so funny but then i ended up getting rid of it because it <laughs> yeah you you I, went I, after I, I you agree. take that and got rid of my spontaneously fainting goat but the game is one oh, when uh you, there was one card that was slipped over <laughs> i'm sure we'll find it when it comes up okay there you go all right either one of my goat card Hey, you found the negotiator. So that card comes out because of the spontaneously fainting goat. If this card is in the field at the beginning of your turn, you may move a card from your hand to any other player's hand. If you do, pull a card from that player's hand and add it to your hand. That's nice. Okay, and this is the, the Ram Star is the one that gives you two actions, right? Yeah. yeah. Yee. All right, so it's my turn. Yee. All right, we're going to play No Buts About It. Uh, uh, uh. You are tranquilized. Oh. <laughs> I mean, shoot. Negotiator <laughs> is going away, and that allows right. me to draw a card. Okay, all right, it's your turn. Draw a card. And then you get to play two actions this turn. Yee. Llama Bomb, destroy an animal card. Destroying is from your opponent's field. Yep. All right, now you get to play your second action because of the Ram Star Energy Drink. I'm going to play a card. Each time any player plays a Llama card, you may draw a card. It's now Pacalypse. Get rid of one of these two. 
No, it says it spe specifies an animal card. Each yeah. player must sacrifice an animal card. So I have to sacrifice my baby llama. Illaminati. Look at the top four cards of the deck. For, well, first, because I played a llama card, I get a. This is a llama card. So I get to draw a card. And now I'm going to look at the four, top four cards of the deck. Um, return one card to the top of the deck, one to the bottom, and add the remaining to your hands. So I'm going to put one on the top of the draw pile. I'm going to put one on the bottom of the draw pile. And add two to my hand. So the strategy there is put something on top that your opponent can't use, put something on bottom that you don't want to come up, and then keep the two best cards that were in there. I'm going to spit, play Spitfire. Spitting Fire, I can discard a card and then sacrifice or destroy a card. Any card. Discard a card. Discarding a card is send a pile from your hand to the discard pile. I know that. I'm and then sacrificing is sacrificing a card out of your tableau, and destroying is sacrificing a card out of, or destroying a card in an opponent's tableau. So you get to, are you, are you trying to get rid of llamaphobia? Yeah. Or tranquilizer. I, I'm, I'm thinking llama card. Well, first you have to discard a card out of your hand. Um, I should discard this. Okay. Hey, look, that's the one I'd left in there from my Illuminati. Well, you have so many llama cards in your hand. You're probably, you know, you probably have to get rid of that one. But you also have some some I, I, instant cards. I don't need no instant cards to win. Okay. Hold on, sucker. <laughs> when this card enters your field, you may bring a llama card from your hand directly into your field. And I have a llama card. As it so happens. And this says, if your card is in. Your field at the beginning of your turn, you may search this deck for an upgrade card and add it to your hand. If you do, skip your draw phase and shuffle the deck. All right, so I'm going to play the magical goat corn. When this card enters your field, you may bring a goat card from your hand. And my goat card is the spontaneously fainting goat. My turn. Okay, so first things first. Because you have two llamas in your field at the start of your turn, you can, you may bring a baby animal card uh, directly of a, an, of a llama into your field. If you do, you would skip your action phase. But I have an extra. But I skip my entire action phase or just one? You may play two cards during your action phase. I think you would skip, no, it, it says you would skip okay. your action phase. So you would skip playing two cards during your action phase. Okay. Uh. So, so do you want to do that or do you want to? Move, move on to the next card that we have to assess. I shall do this. You want to do that? All right. So okay. So I now have four. Yep. So I now, hold on. Three more. So now you have three llamas in your field. That and means that you may draw an extra card every uh, in the draw phase. And right. Plus that. Ding, ding. Yep. So, so you took care of stud life, you took care of that. Now we need to take care of Llama Bot. Llama Bot says, at the beginning of your turn, you can now search for an upgrade card. And the upgrade cards have the, okay. there it is, cool. have the yellow uppers. This is the part of the game that I don't enjoy, which is how many times you have to sift through the deck, find cards. And it would have been awesome if they had put these indica these in indicators on both corners so that you would have just had to do this once. So we're finding all of the upgrade cards. So now you can look. Do you know which upgrade card you're looking for? No. All right. Well, it's one of those. Okay. Uh, walking trash compactor. Careful, I bite. Llama pinata. Embrace diversity and no problema. I go this one. Yeah. Yep. I like that one for you as well. All right, so I'm going to randomly stick these back into the deck. I'm just making random puns. <laughs> Return it to the deck. Shuffle the... Man, I should have done that while I was shuffling the deck a minute ago. All right. Returning him to the deck. Give that a quick shuffle. Draw two cards. 
look at them. Normally we wouldn't show. Oh wow, they're both goat cards, so they both go back into my. No, those are ram cards, not goat. Was it if they're goat cards or if they're animal cards? If they're goats. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was if they were animal cards. No, I have a feeling it was it oh, free man. or goat or whatever. Maybe we should have read it all the way through before I shuffled him back in. Uh, yeah. <laughs> if either is an animal card. Oh, I could have sworn if any of them was a goat card. I mean, that would make the most sense. It would make more sense, but fortunately, that's how the rules played out for that card. All right, so I got those two basic rams into my card. <laughs> now it's my turn, so I'm going to draw a card. Uh, I'm going to play a garbage buffet. Oh, wait, what, wasn't it my turn, though? No, it was, it uh, was my turn. Uh, but, All right. Wait, what? Did, I did am I adding the top two cards from the discard pile into my hand. A llama kick. And because I played a llama card, I get to draw a card. And this says, if this card's in your field at the beginning of your turn, you may return an upgrade or downgrade card from any player's field to that player's hand. Mm. All right, now, it's the beginning of your turn. You have stud life. Do you want to pull another llama, no. baby llama, into your field? No. No. All right, so now you get to draw a card, right? Okay. And you had something that allowed you to draw two cards. I shall play the unstoppable ram. If this card is in your field at the beginning of your turn, no play. You may play an instant card. It's until the end of your turn. I'm going to say don't kid yourself. This is an instant card that I'm playing to stop Luna from wait, playing but, but, but the unstoppable ram. technically happen? No, no, the, when you're playing the card well, you, to your field, you uh, I am using an instant card to block you from playing that card. Now, normally, this is when Luna would come back with another instant card, but because she's tranquilized, she cannot. Right? All right. So your turn? Okay. Oh, wait, didn't I have two actions? You have two actions. And then I shall play this one, too. It's like fainting goats. And I'm going to say spit happens. So I'm using spit happens because here's the thing. She, that would put her at five animal cards. And then with the potential to get to six very quickly. And then you would have the opportunity to get, you know, like that would put you right on the brink of winning. So I have to block that. All right. So now it is my turn. Goats for ought to. If this card's in your field at the beginning of your turn, you may sacrifice, which would be one of yours, an animal card. If you do, bring an animal card from the discard pile directly into your field. And I'm assuming, and then I shall play the swashbuckling llama. Oh, you played a llama card, so I'm going to draw a card. What does that one do? If this card is in your field at the beginning of your turn, you may pull a card from any other player's hand and add it to your hand if you do skip your draw phase. I'm going to but didn't spit you happens, that guy. Okay, fine. And that's your last immediate card. That's my card. last immediate card. So, Normally you wouldn't know that. Oh, it was it's the llamas because you have three llamas that you get to draw an extra card at the beginning of your oh, turn. Yeah. So you should have an extra card in there. <laughs> All right, so now it's my turn, right? So at the beginning of my turn, I can sacrifice an animal card. So I think it's time to sacrifice the Llama Bot 3000. And I can Llama Kick the Ramstar Energy Drink back into your hand. Aw, thank you. I'm going to draw a card. All right, yep, draw a card. But wait, how did and you then, skip your my turn? What's that? No, I didn't skip your turn. Oh, right. No, I. This guy's in. Oh yeah. I we did this, we did this, and then I drew a card, and I'm going to play a card. So I'm going to play the shaved llama. When this card enters your field, you may return a card in your field to your hand. Why would I do that? Oh, actually, there's a reason why I was holding on to that card forever. Jin Rami. When this card enters your field, you may discard any number of cards, then draw the same number of cards. Oh, and I have a ram bonus. You may discard a card if you do destroy an alpaca, goat, or llama card. But that's a destroy. 
boom, throw off their groove. Yeah. Draw a card, and then choose any other player. That player must skip your next turn, yeah. and I'm choosing you. <laughs> of course you are. No, nope. that, that goes to the discard pile, and you draw a card for that. At the beginning of your turn, you may use that variation's herd bonus effect. All right, so I'm gonna disc at the beginning of my turn, I'm gonna do my herd bonus effect, and I'm going to discard a card to destroy. Oh, you don't have any alpacas. Go oh, no, or llama. I'm gonna use it to destroy your basic llama. All right, that takes care of your llama bonus. Now, I'm going to, so that was at the very beginning of my turn. Now I'm going to draw a card, and then I'm going to play a card. I'm going to play the Shinobi Llama. When this card enters your field, you may discard a card. If you do, choose a card from the discard pile and add it to your hand. Do not reveal the card to any other player. Whatever. All right, so this is I'm gonna, a very intense game. I'm going to discard that card. and oh, then Six. You're one card away from winning. I'm one card away from winning. No, that's the right. That's the right play, because it gives you one more opportunity. And then to draw another. You can go. Bye-bye. No, because now I'm skipping my turn. No, uh, you you draw a card. Now you do have to, if you have more than seven cards in your hand, you have to discard down. Oh, hold on. I shall play the magical alpaca corn. When this card enters your field, you may bring an alpaca card from your hand directly into your field, and I have one. When this card enters your field, you may search the deck for a magic card and add it to your hand, shovel the deck. Whoa! Magic card. Animal swaps. You got grand larceny. You got downhill. <laughs> Is that the one you want? All right. Give me. The draw pile. We don't like reshuffle the discard pile into it. We we play where we're basically dwindling down that draw pile because there's so many cards that make you either go into the discard pile or into the draw pile that it's nice when you're not like reshuffling and and kind of starting that whole mess all over again. All right, so I am going to choose not to get rid of your tranquilizer. Oh, you don't have a lot of instant cards. Uh, you didn't play any llama cards, so we'll just play, and we'll play a no, no, no. Slosh buckling llama, and you won. And that does win the game, because I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven uh, animal cards in my field at the end of the game, and so that triggers the the, the game, and I have won. So that was a well played game. Good job. Thank you all for watching this tabletop tutorial of Llamas, Llamas Unleashed. Unleashed. My name is John McCann and I am the tabletop tutor. And I am Luna McCann. That's all for and now, now and we look forward to seeing you, you at the, the gaming, gaming table. table. Have a fantastic day people. See ya.